And happening this week, the Senate is set to hold a hearing with the makers of the popular weight loss drugs Ozempic and Wegovy. The CEO of Novo Nordisk will testify about the U.S. pricing of the weight loss drug, which can reach up to $1,300 a month. On Monday, more than 253 health professionals wrote into Congress demanding that they take a look at the, quote, exorbitant prices set by manufacturers. Now, the letter claims that studies have shown the drugs can be made for less than $5 a month, while also highlighting the European-based pricing, which runs about $92 a month in the United Kingdom and $186 in Denmark. So what is going on with all this? Joining me now to discuss this further is Dr. Marty McCary, John Hopkins surgeon, professor, and New York Times best-selling author. Doctor, thank you so much for being here. Good first, to be with you. Yeah, first off, tell us about more about how the medication works. We've talked to a lot of experts about this, but I feel like with each month and year we go, you know, we get a different take. What's your take on it? So you're going to hear a lot of things about Ozempic and Wagovi. The bottom line is you're addicted to, for life unless you change your lifestyle. You need to have an active exercise routine, a high-protein diet, and very few people do that. So you're really switching one problem for another. And we know it reduces excess body mass, excess body fat, but it also reduces excess muscle. That is, your normal muscle uh, decreases, and we may be accelerating frailty reducing obesity-related complications in the short term, but perhaps accelerating frailty long term. And it turns out muscle mass is the number one predictor of longevity. So research says that this medication can be produced for, what is it, $5? Yeah. So why has the... The price skyrocketed the way it has. I guess it's just because everybody wants to be thin, right? <laughs> They're charging as much as the market will allow, right. and they are clearly price gouging. They're making a fortune, and they see a potential market of 80% of the United States population. The company is doing a trial now to lower the age of starting Ozempic from age 12 down to age 6. Mm -hmm. And a lot of people are saying, first of all, you're price gouging. We want some accountability for that. And we want more drugs on the market, so there's competition. And what about the root causes of why we have an obese population? That is a conversation that is now rearing its head up. And can I just ask you, too, that I know people that have taken Ozempic, and then they just continue to eat poorly, or they still keep drinking. And they say, well, this is my magic shot. Uh, it doesn't work that way, does it? No, and what you're describing is what we call in public health the moral hazard. That is, if you perceive that something can make high risk or bad behaviors okay or suddenly safe, you engage more in those high-risk behaviors. And unfortunately, people see their health as their figure, not as their physiology. Right. And so you, some people have gone on these medications and then increased the amount of bad food that they eat thinking, well, I'm still thin, right. but you could be micronutrient depleted. Ah, interesting. Yeah, I can take the shot, but I can still have the cheeseburger. It doesn't always work. Uh, so what are some of the alternatives for patients who are getting priced out? Well, there's a couple proposals, and Republicans and Democrats have put this in front of um, uh, the policy world for consideration, tying the price in the United States to an international price index. You can get this drug for $1,000 or $1,300 a month in the United States, but about $80 to $100 in countries like Australia and the U.K. And so they're saying you can't gouge the American public that much more than your, uh, your margin overseas. That's one of the ideas. The other idea is to say we need more competition. It's expected we're going to have 16 more weight loss drugs besides uh, the current GLP-1 batch in the next 15 years, and that could potentially provide the competition. And Ozempic is going to come off patent in a couple of years, and that could change the market. Oh, interesting. And, you know, obesity can cost Americans more than, what is it, $400 billion a year. So a lot of people are just wondering, is this just another way to keep, for big pharma, to keep that cost that high? We have the sickest population in the history of the world. We have a poisoned food supply. We have ultra-engineered, highly processed foods that are designed to be make your body more hungry as you eat. So you feel queasy at the end, but you have an increased appetite. And then we have these food additives and chemicals that are banned in Europe. About a 1,000 that are banned in the United States or banned in Europe are in the United States food supply. So we've poisoned the food supply. Is the solution more pills? Many people are saying, let's stop, back up. You know, we've got half of our nation's children obese or overweight. Maybe it's not their fault. Maybe adults have done this to children through a food supply that is not healthy.
Thanks for watching, everybody. Go to joinnn.com to find News Nation on your television provider. Also, don't forget to click that red subscribe button below to get more of News Nation's fact-driven, unbiased coverage.